Hey everyone. Before we get started today, I just want to take a, an opportunity to thank everybody that views my channel. Um, I really appreciate it. And not to sound cliche, but uh, it is the truth. Without uh, all the viewers, my channel wouldn't exist. So um, thank you very much. And uh, I also want to give a shout out and uh, a lot of thanks to uh, a few of my viewers who wish to remain anonymous. Um, I really can't put into words what they did, but uh, as you can see, I got a new fly vice, and that was um, through the generosity of a few guys. And like I said, I'm going to uh, keep their. Uh, wishes to remain anonymous, but you know who you are, and I really can't put into words uh, what this means. Uh, I really, really, really appreciate it. And uh, with that said, we're going to get started here. In the vise, we have a Midwest Finesse Jig, 332nd ounce with a size 1 aught Mustad 32746 hook. We're sticking with the belly hair now. Uh, this is one I call a belly dancer. Uh, it's if you go back and look at my other videos, there's um, uh, a hair jig video. It's called a rabbit strip hair jig. I call it the hairy stripper. Uh, this is very similar to that. I normally would tie this on the worm nose jig, but since uh, uh, since this uh, mold came out. I like it better here. I don't have to cut nothing off the, the collar or anything. So we're going to put a little bit of super glue brush on. Sorry for rambling on. And uh, we're going to take 210 denier flat wax nylon thread in olive. Of course, we have a watermelon uh, colored jig head there, which is why we're using the olive thread. So we'll just get our base started. And you only want to go down about a quarter inch or so. Put a good base on because the deer belly hair um, will like to slip if you don't get it real tight. So I like to get a little bit of a base on there, uh, a little bit more than normal. So now our base is started. Rabbit strip. This is all a variant barred. Uh, Grizzly Olive Variant is the name of the color. I'll leave a link to the material in the description. But you're going to want this about an inch and a half to two inches beyond the hook. And we're going to tie it with the leather strip up. And we're going to put it on this way. So we're going to center that. And we'll just make a couple wraps to hold it until, to make sure we get it right where we want it. And then we'll lash it down really well. Now, once I have that done, I'm going to take the jig out of the vise. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to see where this would uh, be if it's straight out here where it ends up down at the bottom of this jig near the shank of the hook. And that's where I'm going to want to pierce the leather with my hook point. And we'll bring it through. And once we have that, I'm going to brush the hair aside and put it back in my vise. And we'll put a few more wraps on here. Just like I said, it doesn't hurt to have the, the thread build up because the deer belly hair tends to uh, want to slide. So now we got that done, we're going to take our deer bear belly hair. And this is olive. And I'm going to want the hair 
probably just barely beyond that hook because I want the hair to go up over top of this jig head. I'm not going to pull it tight. I'm just going to put a couple wraps and we're going to work it around. We have some gaps. This is the hardest part is getting it filled out because it's going to, without a collar or anything, it's going to want to drift on you. As even, even with just the weight of the bobbin, it's going to want to pull the hair different directions. So I'm going to take a little bit more. And we're going to fill it in. The nice thing about this is you don't have to worry about ever having a bald spot because it will work itself all the way around. Now once we get it where we want it, I'm going to pull it tight. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm just going to take the uh, my dread and whip finish it. No head cement on this. Because all that hair is getting pushed right up against uh, the head of the jig. So there's really nowhere to go with it. And what I do to, to trim the thread off, I just take my scissors, I go up against. And that's it. I'll show you what we have here. Very simple, very easy, really nice profile. Uh, once I clean my tank out, I'll get these in the tank for you to take a look at. But with this uh, Midwest finesse jig, this is a really nice, uh, a really nice head to do this on because when you're going, this rabbit hair and your deer belly will float up, and as you're pulling it along, this will skim across the bottom really nice. That's what you're looking at. That kind of presentation. Really buggy looking. A little bit of action, but not too much. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.